Hi, this is Mark Fershat from Georgetown County School District, and I wanted to show our students a way that they can go ahead and they can use, um, basically, they can split their monitor, or split their screen, so that way they have maybe a teacher video on this side or a Google Meet on this side, and then while that's going, they can go ahead and take notes um, or work on something on this side of the screen. And the way we do that is basically by three simple keys. Right here on your Chromebook, you'll see this key. It's the Alt key. Up here, you'll see these two keys, and I made them bigger. These are bracket keys. The one closest to this side will push the screen this way, and then the one closest to this side will push the screen this way. So we're going to use a combination of these, and I'm going to show you exactly how to do it. The big thing is, is that when you're ready to split your screen, you're going to hold the Alt button, and then you'll press the bracket to the side you want it to go to. So if I press this side, it'll go this way, and if I press this one, it'll go this way. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to show you how this might be used. You can see in my current classroom right now, I'm in a meet, all right? My teacher is teaching me a lesson today that I need to take notes on. So what I'm going to do is I also want to take notes, and my teacher assigned me notes, and when I clicked on those notes, the notes came over here. So my teacher wants me to watch the video and fill out this worksheet on one side um, while the video is playing on the other side. So it's really easy. I want to go ahead and I want to pull down on my Meet tab, which is right here, and I want this Meet tab to come over to this side. So the way I do it is, again, I'm going to click and hold right on the Meet tab, and I'm going to pull down until it pulls away, and then I let go. Then I am going to go ahead and hit the Alt and the bracket bar, and you'll see it pushed my video right over to this side. If for some reason you cannot split your screen when you press the Alt button and a bracket button, you'll need to press this button up in the corner first. So again, if nothing happens when you press the Alt button and the bracket button, press this key up in the top first. That should resolve any issues. Then behind it, you'll notice if I click over here, I have my notes. So I'm going to click on my notes, and then the same thing. Now that I'm on my notes, I want to click the Alt, and I want to click the bracket that's closest to this side. So I'm going to click Alt and bracket, and it's going to push my notes over to this side. And that'll adjust in just a second. But you'll notice that I can see, again, my live meet on this side, and if I had the sound turned on, I'd be able to hear it. And then on this side over here, I have my notes. And so if I needed to go ahead and type in my notes, what was going along with the video, I could just click in here and I could begin typing while I'm watching the visit while I'm watching the video. And you'll notice that again I can have one working screen. And then I can have a second working screen. So that way, as the answers come up in our class, I can go ahead and I can type in my notes on this side. And it's just an easy way, again, for me to go ahead and, and have a split screen. And if at any point I want to go ahead and make these whole screen again, I can just come up here and I can click and I'll do it on this side first, I can click this little square, and this will maximize it. So if I click this square, it goes back to normal. Um, and again, if I want to click the other side, I can come over here, and I can hit the other side. And so then you'll see that my tabs are now back to normal. And at any point in time, if I ever get lost, I can just go ahead and close everything and rejoin the meeting. But I hope that helped you split your screen. Good luck.